So, Angelina, please share yes. your screen. Okay, all right. Can you, can you folks see my screen? Yes. There yes. is, there is an echoing sound, Susanna. I yeah, think it, I, I finding some, okay. I, 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 now it's okay. Yep. Okay. That's better. All right. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Angelina Minotto and, um, tonight we're talking about aging and aging well. So I've got a few photos here of aging, some are cartoons, but tonight's presentation would be a combination of the three of us helping one another. So we've obviously got our senior presidential director, Susanna, and, um, and the actual presentation of the material will be done by our director, Nelly Ramos, and myself. Okay, so let's start. Right, okay, so we all, are um, at a fork road at the moment. We all have to make a decision as we age. And as we age from the time we are born or for the, for the time we were born, we actually start to age, except that when we were young, we, it was called growing up. And then when it came, when we had uh, have, have reached about our 50s, going to our 60s, then they start calling it aging. Okay, so what I'm talking about is the path to better aging. And as I said, we are facing a fork road, whether we are going to go the traditional medicine path or a new path, which is a much better path. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So um, what I would be um, expecting is that by the end of this presentation, you would have thought about the material that has presented and you would make think about those and um probably make a decision for yourself either tonight or sometime in the um in the next few days in terms of how you are going to handle aging from here on so let's look at the let's look at the traditional medicine path um and it's normally disease focused so have you heard someone um say that you know I, I feel healthy because I'm not sick. And normally that's what a lot of people think. We think we are health, healthy until we become ill or develop a disease. And then when we get sick, the focus is on treatment of the disease and where sometimes it's just treating the symptoms but not the actual disease. So what are the common disorders of nowadays? I've got a few examples here. We've got arthritis. There's a hundred plus um, types of arthritis um, around. Cancer, same thing, a lot of different types of cancer. We've got kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, autoimmune disorders, diabetes, immune decline, and cognitive decline. These are just examples and there's plenty more. So when we get sick, uh, the traditional way is that, you know, they focus on the treatment of that particular disease and then we try to uh, uh, cure or alleviate the symptoms of that disease. But what gets lost in the process is that at the root of each disease is an underlying aging process that increases the risks for these diseases. So understanding the biological mechanisms of aging can delay the onset and progression of these diseases. Understanding the biological mechanisms of aging also help understand the root causes of diseases and may even reverse, um, oops, may even reverse uh, the functional decline of the person that's aging. So, right, now that was the traditional method. The 21st century cure for diseases actually focuses on aging. So the traditional one focuses on medicine. The 21st century one focuses on aging. What is aging? 
Aging is an inevitable time-dependent decline in physiological integrity and function of the various organs of our body, and it's caused by the accumulation of cellular damage that results in progressive loss of biological function. And then eventually, it impairs the whole function of, our, of us as an organism. And slowing the aging process slows the progression of multiple age-associated diseases. What I'm going to show you here is actually the result of the study of um, the scientists around aging. You will probably see this, uh, not probably because I actually got it there. Uh, you would see this in PubMed. PubMed is the um, medical lab. It's a global medical library of all published researchers that are um, peer reviewed and endorsed by the scientific community. So they looked at the hallmarks of aging and they actually found that there are nine hallmarks of aging. Altered intercellular communication, genomic instability, telomere attrition, epigenetic alterations, loss of proteostasis, deregulated nutrient sensing, mitochondrial dysfunction, cellular senescence, and stem cell exhaustion. I'm going to show you a 13-minute video. So what I encourage you to do is just focus on the message of that video because you will find that the common thread of the hallmarks of aging, the video actually addresses the hallmarks of aging. It explains each of these nine hallmarks of aging. But you will find is that a common thread across those videos is the cell, the human cell, the stem cell. So just try to understand that. So I'm going to play the, the video shortly, so, um, and it will explain to you each of these hallmarks of aging. From the moment of conception, our cells are constantly dividing and changing, and continue to do so throughout life. However, understanding the biology of aging is incredibly difficult. There are numerous factors involved in this complex process that are all interrelated. Aging is an inevitable time-dependent decline in physiological integrity and function of various organ systems caused by the accumulation of cellular damage. This drives a progressive loss of biological function and eventually impairs the function of the entire organism. Aging is a major risk factor for one of the most significant causes of human morbidity and mortality, cancer. Aging occurs as a result of a series of intrinsic processes and their interactions with the external environment, from sunlight, UV radiation, toxins in the air like fumes and tobacco, chemicals in the water, to how much we exercise and the degree of environmental stress, all the way to our diets. DNA gets damaged thousands of times per day, anywhere between 10,000 to a million times. Together, these factors cause changes in the structure of our body's molecules and cells, where DNA undergoes the process of constant damage and repair, accruing errors and imperfect repairs, leading to the accumulation of cellular waste in the body that ultimately leads to the functional decline of the organism. With individuals living longer and longer, aging research has become a huge field of study. More recently, scientists have discovered nine traits that are hallmarks of aging. From altered intercellular communication, deregulated nutrient sensing, stem cell exhaustion, cellular senescence, mitochondrial dysfunction, loss of proteostasis, telomere attrition, epigenetic alterations, and finally genomic instability, which is one of the major players leading to cancer. Let's first take a look at altered cell communication. This involves a gradual and harmful change in chemical signals between cells. This signal degradation impacts on how cells behave as individuals, groups, and the surrounding microenvironment. So cell behavior affects the cell environment and the environment in return affects the cells. As we age, the signaling environment of the chemical messages across the whole body tend to become more chronically inflammatory, inhibiting the immune system and potentially causing other effects like muscle wasting, bone loss and impaired neurological function, as well as other harmful effects in a process known as inflammatory aging or inflammaging. 
Multiple different factors cause inflammaging, one of which is the senescence associated security phenotype, SASP, which is directly caused by another hallmark of aging, cellular senescence. As cells replicate, they eventually enter a phase of permanent non division and cell cycle arrest when they run out of replicatable DNA at the chromosome ends. However, it can also occur as a result of damaged chromosomes. Senescent cells normally destroy themselves via a programmed cell death mechanism called apoptosis and are removed by the immune system. But the immune system weakens with age due to chronic inflammation and immunosuppressive environments. Increasing numbers of senescent cells escape this process and begin to accumulate in all tissues of the body. These senescent cells are known to secrete inflammatory, immunosuppressive and a harmful mixture of factors SASPs, that have been shown to encourage neighboring cells to become senescent and may contribute to multiple age-related diseases. The leakage of chemicals from senescent cells can move into neighboring cells through the gap junctions, the holes between the cell surfaces. When cells are damaged, inflammation kicks in to trigger a repair process. But in this dysregulated state, repairs fail and damage accumulates, causing more inflammation. To maintain homeostasis, these cells need to be replaced by healthy ones, and this function declines with age. Eventually, the number of damaged and senescent cells reaches a point where the tissue or organ function is compromised. In order to carry out normal cell processes, cells employ different nutrients within the body, for example, glucose, amino acids, and lipids. Cells have an ability to sense when nutrients are present, and these signals tell the cell when it is safe to promote the consumption of nutrients. When nutrients are scarce, evolution focuses on conservation, maintenance, and repair, rather than growth and replication. Cells basically monitor the nutrient availability so that they can regulate their activity to balance growth, stress, and the damage that occurs. Nutrient availability becomes deregulated in aging, and nutrient supplies inevitably decline, ultimately affecting cellular function. Our body's natural ability to regenerate tissue and organs, and repair cell damage, depends on the availability of healthy stem cells. This capacity declines with age, and they become unable to carry out these processes due to exhaustion. Stem cells are also affected by other age-related issues like chronic inflammation and DNA damage over time, which can inhibit their ability to replicate and replace defective cells. This leads to diseases like reduced muscle mass, bone fragility, and immunosenescence, where defective cells are not cleared anymore. As stem cells need to replicate often to replenish damaged tissue, they can't afford to lose their DNA or capacity for infinite cell divisions. They possess an enzyme called telomerase that extends their telomeres, the ends of the DNA, when they get shorter. But the rate of telomerase activity is not enough to compensate for the degree of shortening that takes place throughout life, and thus stem cells eventually senesce or die after they reach their natural replicative limit with age. The mitochondria are organelles within cells that are known to be the powerhouse and the main energy source for cellular processes. They have their own genome, which is prone to damage because it is stored in an oxidation-prone location, and they do not possess their own protective nucleus. Thus, they are exposed to all of the elements. Unfortunately, mitochondria also produce the most free radicals, such as reactive oxygen species, as a byproduct of normal cellular metabolism and aerobic respiration. This results in the progressive dysfunction of their cellular processes over time, where they release increasing amounts of free radicals leading to inflammation, stress, and cellular damage. These free radicals damage all molecules they encounter, from proteins to DNA, causing them to mutate and thereby dysregulating their function. Dysfunctional mitochondria produce less ATP, reducing the energy supply needed for cellular processes. They are also unable to replace themselves as quickly in their dysfunctional state. The reduced numbers of mitochondria and failure to dispose of defective mitochondria further lead to cellular damage and eventually aging. Proteins regulate virtually all cellular reactions and processes and provide cell structure. The maintenance of all proteins in their original form folded in precise, complex conformations and in abundance is essential for them to perform their functions optimally. However, with age, proteins are damaged by declining cellular processes. 
Changes to cellular pH, oxidative processes, or environmental stress can create aberrant protein changes, causing them to misfold and provide inaccurate instructions. They can also form unwanted bonds with other proteins by aggregating together and thus become toxic. In an ideal situation, aberrant and misfolded proteins are degraded by cellular machinery responsible for recycling, but aggregations make it hard for this to be achieved. These aggregates form clumps that protect the interior proteins from being broken down and recycled. All cells have lysosomes that are tiny sacs of enzymes inside of the cell that engulf and degrade cellular material. Our ability to maintain this process reduces over time and leads to the accumulation of damaged proteins that cause all sorts of diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Huntington's and heart disease. We also have a biological clock in our DNA, which has an expiry date. The body is constantly going through cell divisions and every time cells divide, they make a copy of all their DNA as well. DNA is tightly packed into chromosomes. Due to the imperfect nature of DNA replication, the ends of the DNA are often skipped over. Chromosomes have regions at the ends that are protective caps called telomeres, which contain non-essential information of a specific DNA sequence that is repeated thousands of times. The sequence has two purposes. Firstly, it protects the coding regions of the chromosome, preventing them from being damaged or fusing with other chromosomes, and ensures that no genetic information is lost. Secondly, it acts as a clock that controls the number of replications a cell can make. This region gets shorter every time replication occurs. Because this region has a defined length, the cell can no longer divide after this point. This is known as the replication limit. The replication limit of most cells in humans is roughly 50 times. This limit also helps to prevent cancer, which is the opposite problem of uncontrolled replication. When telomeres reach a critically short length, cells sense it and permanently turn off their replication machinery and senesce. An enzyme known as telomerase, which is turned off in most adult cells, can prevent telomere shortening and even restore telomere length. The presence of telomerase is one of the hallmarks of cancer. Thus, telomere attrition limits the number of times our cell can divide, slowly leading to dwindling populations of functional cells. If you think about it, every cell in our body contains the same set of DNA. So what makes them differentiate into different cell types? Gene expression is modified by the addition of epigenetic markers to the DNA, thus changing the patterns of gene expression in the cell, switching on and off the expression of certain genes in the cell as the situation demands. This is known as the epigenome and can be modified by diet, other lifestyle factors and pharmaceuticals, but most importantly the cellular environment. It also changes as you age. As our cells are exposed to more microenvironmental and environmental factors, these chemical modification tags are lost, added inappropriately or shifted around. And these changes accumulate over time and have been correlated with a decline or alterations in function observed in aging. In aging, as the environment becomes more inflammatory, with various inhibitory molecules released from injured and stressed cells, the feedback loop leads to more and more epigenetic alterations in the genome, ultimately changing the function of the cells. The cells in our body contain all the instructions needed to create proteins that are required to maintain the body structure and function. However, the genome is under constant attack from both external sources and internal environmental factors. Fortunately, DNA also encodes a number of processes that detect and repair virtually all of this damage. But repair is not perfect, and as we age, DNA repair mechanisms become less effective. So more and more damage from imperfect repairs to our genome accumulates and the effects of these mutations compound. This changes the function of the cell and these changes are transferred into each future copy of the cell. Cancer is one result of unrepaired DNA damage or incorrect repairs. While mutations can occur at any point in time, they are probabilistic events. So the longer you live, the more likely that this is to happen. Genomic instability is arguably the biggest driver of aging. Ultimately, it affects the ability of our body to produce essential functional proteins that are needed to carry out various functions. 
Whether it's facilitating biochemical reactions, maintaining the scaffolding, keeping your cells together, or the cell-to-cell -cell communication, proteins are involved. So accumulation of DNA damage with age affects all of these natural processes. There are clinical trials testing treatments for all of these hallmarks at various stages of development. Only time will tell as to which hallmarks make it to the fountain of youth. It's one of the greatest issues facing society today, biological aging. Imagine if there really was an elixir of life that could stop or reverse the aging process. The only certainty in life is death, but with modern medicine, populations are aging and living longer than ever before. Perhaps it's more about improving the quality of life that we live, rather than trying to extend it. If aging is inevitable, should we be able to control our health span? How would this change your progression through life? If you could choose how long you lived and when you died in the future, what would you do? Would you drink from the fountain? Yep, so would you drink from the fountain? So as I said earlier, uh, a whole lot of that video talks about the cells and the impact. And when we age, it's all the story of aging is really the story of the cells uh, inside our body. So we, we can slow aging, but slowing aging requires us to care for our body well. So how do we care for our body well? You know, start, we start with good nutrition, fresh air, sunshine, being out there in the open. Um, having exercise, um, you know, not pushing ourselves too much, but doing some activity just to improve the body, uh, make the muscles healthy, improve circulation. Having enough rest and sleep. Um, as we have enough rest and sleep, uh, a good night's sleep actually helps the body repair itself better. So sleep is really important. And those things contribute to the physical well-being of the body. But on top of that, we need to look after our emotional wellness, which includes um, the way we think, the way we talk to ourselves, the way we relate to others, how we manage conflict um, with others and ourselves, and a whole lot of other factors, as you would see in this photo here. And also because we are all created as body, uh, human beings with body, soul, and spirit. We also need to look after our sp own spiritual wellness. And all together, this would contribute to us uh, being positioned well to care for our bodies. And if all these are going well and in balance, you know, there is a greater chance of us slowing the aging right from when we started to put them in place um, correctly. But on top of that, should we find ourselves in a position where we have not been perfect in looking after our bodies well? Then there is the future of medical technology. Remember the fork road that I was showing you earlier, that I showed you earlier? The traditional way is, the, um, is focused on medicine um, and disease, but the future of medical technology is actually in stem cells. So what are stem cells? Stem cells are the master cells and building blocks of the entire body. You would have learned that from the video itself. It is the job of the stem cells to repair and renew our bodies naturally. Stem cells are found throughout the body in various tissues and organs, and they replenish dying cells and regenerate damaged tissues by entering the bloodstream, where they migrate to areas that are most in need of repair and renewal. When tissues or organs are damaged, stem cells are able to divide and develop into other types of cells so they could repair themselves. This process could reverse or prevent damage to vital organs and could be done with stem cell therapy. A single cell, a single stem cell is actually a universal cell. It can become a muscle, it can become skin, it can become an organ, or blood, or neurons, or pretty much replicate anything that the body needs. And that's how, how great these stem cells are. And that's why they're called universal. They can be anything that the body needs. But there are many types of um, stem cell therapies. The typical ones before 
before the uh, before this new product that I'm going to tell tell you about, uh, there's a number of typical stem cell therapies. One is there are stem cell supplements. They're available out there in the market, and I know that there's a lot of them, particularly in Japan and some of the Asian countries. You could also go for a bone marrow extraction um, and blood culture. That is where they extract blood from from your bone marrow. And uh, they actually culture that blood for four, five, six months for however long is needed to grow and multiply the targeted number of stem cells that the doctor might want your, uh, to produce. And then after that target has been reached, that blood is going to be injected back into your body. And then the third, one, uh, the third therapy is that stem cell injection from younger donors. This one is actually not your stem cells. It would be some other people's. Typically, they would get this from uh, the baby's umbilical cord um, or some other people who would, you know, younger people, younger than the patient who would be wanting to be a donor. And, um, and obviously, the stem cells are injected into your body. Now, there are certain problems and risks posed by these um, typical stem cell therapies. One, they're potentially dangerous. Example, they can have uncontrolled cell division. And secondly, um, they may not in the long run be uh, a good match for yourself and in the long run could be rejected by your body. Also, stem cell, um, particularly bone marrow extractions and blood culture, they're actually costly. They cost in excess of $10,000 for a single treatment. And we're even unsure of their effectiveness. Uh, in fact, quite a number of stem cells die in the process of trans, um, of injecting uh, them into your body. And there's also discomfort uh, during extractions and injections. And, and then finally, in most countries, stem cell therapies are actually not approved. These sorts of stem cell therapies. Now, but what we have right now is something that is a, a stem cell alternative, a solution to the problem. It is available now from a company called LifeWave. It is a far better option, and it actually is targeted to activate the stem cells that you already have in your body, which will have the benefit of being safe, inexpensive, and highly effective. So let's watch this video. They said it couldn't be done to boost cellular activity using light? With wearable technology like this? No way. But they didn't know this inventor, David Schmidt, LifeWave's founder and CEO, who made what some said was impossible, possible. David's commitment to tap into our natural human energy at the cellular level without drugs or stimulants led to LifeWave being launched in the early 2000s. His mission? To share products with the world that enhance people's health, wellness, beauty, and longevity without drugs. Today, after thousands of clinical studies on light therapy, it's an accepted science, and LifeWave is at the forefront of it all. The big break came in 2004, during the U.S. Olympic trials where elite swimmers under NCAA coaching icon and LifeWave proponent Richard Quick were setting their own lifetime records using LifeWave's energy enhancers our first product. The word got out. Controversy, driven by skeptics, followed. But LifeWave was proven to be a safe, non-drug technology. A tidal wave of interest rolled in, of professional athletes, trainers, health practitioners, scientists, as well as everyday people, finding out that things were just better with LifeWave. More energy, more stamina, more enthusiasm for life. But David didn't stop there. He refined the science, inventing new ways to reduce pain, to improve sleep, to get rid of stress, and more, all without drugs. National stories, interviews, celebrity partnerships followed. Then, people in other countries heard of LifeWave's unique products, and the international growth wave began. After all, when you feel great, it shows in any language. And then it happened. You've heard of the Big Bang Theory? LifeWave's Big Bang was no theory, and it changed everything. It was summer 2018. Stem cells and the growing awareness of their ever-increasing value within the human body made headlines across the world. 
But for more than 10 years, David Schmidt had already been researching our body's aging process and how stem cells could help. He zeroed in on what was possible in activating existing stem cells. And then he figured out how to use LifeWave technology to elevate a copper peptide already proven, with decades of research behind it, to activate stem cells without injections. And the rest is history. X39 was born. When X39 launched in early 2019, the response was stunning. The testimonials flowed in. Today, it has proven to be an invention that has taken the world of health and wellness by storm, and it is changing people's lives everywhere. And LifeWave is growing fast as a result. David says X39 is his best achievement yet. The world is turning to LifeWave. Distribution in more than 100 countries, over 80 clinical, research, and published studies, more than 100 filed and issued worldwide patents held by David, including over 70 in the field of regenerative science, and zero competition. What's it all mean? If you are hearing about LifeWave for the very first time, you are standing at a crossroads. The opportunity for you to profit from our accelerating growth is now. Will you be among those who take advantage? LifeWave is established, proven, at the start of something big, really big. And you're at the threshold too. You can help people discover how great it feels to feel great again with LifeWave. This is the definition of opportunity. This is LifeWave. Okay, so the technology behind the LifeWave product is um, actually called phototherapy. Phototherapy is a type of treatment that involves exposure to sources of light, like sunlight, halogen lights, and LED lights, uh, to treat certain medical conditions. A good example of phototherapy is the sunlight. When we go out there in the sun, the sunlight, when it strikes our skin, actually initiates vitamin D production in our body. It's not the sunlight that produces the vitamin D, it's actually our body, but it's the sunlight that triggers or activates um, the nerve cells that tells the body, I want you to produce vitamin D. And of course, with the sunlight come many effects on our body, including the ability to produce melanin or suntan and a whole lot of uh, the feelings of wellness. So that is a classic example of phototherapy. So light in itself, um, treatment, uh, the treatment of diseases using light has been in use for a long, long time. So we've heard of the laser surgery of the eye. We've heard of LED lights being used in the cosmetic industry, particularly to um, induce the production of collagen. Uh, we've heard of infrared, infrared heating lamps being used as a source of light to improve circulation and relieve pain in the body. And uh, also, more popularly, the blue light therapy, especially used to, train, to treat jaundiced babies um, as soon as they're born. And there's so many other examples. These are just a few. And then on top of that, we've got our body. Our body is so magical. We've got a magic uh, body healing system. So all living creatures like uh, you know, human beings, animals, and plants, we all emit light. Humans emit infrared light. We are beings of light. And the human body has the ability to cure 60 to 70% of discomforts and diseases. So, and that's through the various mechanisms that's inbuilt in our body. Our body has light factors, as I said earlier, and each cell within our body has its own light wave. It has its own frequency, such that the body is able to distinguish the various types of cells that we have, um, just uh, in uh, looking into the frequency uh, that they generate. So LifeWave's wearable technology actually taps into the power of phototherapy and the, the magical ability of the body to heal itself. Marry them together and the company came up with a patented wearable technology. It's a four centimeter diameter um, patch it is a patch that you attach to your body. It, um, it is made up of nanoatoms of amino acids, oxygen, electrolytes, water, and natural glucose. And 
specific wavelengths of light are put in um, uh, of light onto the surface of the skin are are triggered, and that stimulates nerves which are uh, inside our body, which then elicit a biochemical response from the body. And this particular process is known as photobiomodulation, which is the basis of phototherapy. So let's look at a video, it's just a short one, that will describe how these patches work, how the phototherapy is actually applied into these patches. Light, an ancient form of energy that goes back to the dawn of time. For us, it all begins with the sun, the source of light and life for our entire solar system. Even Einstein concluded that everything we're made of contains light. All life originates with the sun through photosynthesis. Plants and vegetation collect the light and all living creatures emit light. Humans actually emit infrared light, which can be seen with night vision devices. We've known for centuries that light has many effects on the body. LifeWave's phototherapy patches use light to stimulate the body's natural healing systems providing specific health benefits. Here's how the technology works. First, a patch is applied to specific points on the body. Where the patch covers the skin, infrared light emitted from the body is reflected back into the tissue. This stimulates the skin, which in turn stimulates specific regions of the brain. The brain then taps into the body's own natural flow of energy and the ability to heal itself. Let's take a look at why this is important on a cellular level. For example, a number of our patch products help counteract free radicals, oxygen molecules that damage cell proteins and contribute to visible signs of aging. When the body is stimulated through phototherapy to release its own antioxidants, these free radicals are neutralized naturally. LifeWave phototherapy patches promote an environment that enables the body to optimize its restorative powers and provide specific health benefits, all without the use of harmful drugs or chemicals, all helping you to stay healthy and young. To find out more, contact your distributor or visit LifeWave.com. LifeWave. Live long. Live well. Okay, so LifeWave has got a lot of um, patches and they actually like acupuncture without a needle. And you could classify the patches into two, foundational patches and functional patches. I'm only going to show you what these are, but they will be discussed in particularly individually by our director Nelly. So I'm just showing you what these patches are. These, the ones below are the functional patches because they're specific to a certain function of the body. Uh, they, they address those specific functions. But the foundational patches, there are two, the X39 and X49, which um, I'm going to hand over to, um, to Nelly to share. Over to you, Nelly. Nanny, you need me to share the screen or you share the screen? You, your mic not yet on? Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. Okay, Nani, you can, you can, you, you can unmute. Yes, unmute. Oh, yes. Uh, can I share my screen? Yeah, yeah, you can share your screen. Uh, yes, I can share my screen now. Yes. Coming. Okay, so you can see my screen, yeah? Yes. Yep. All right, thank you. So here, thanks, Angelina. She's our director for 
taking us through the topic of aging. So my job now is to share with you what are the uh, products that could help us with aging. So first, we are not a medical doctor here, okay? So we don't diagnose, treat any diseases. All I'm going to do with you is share with you what these products can do. So as Angelina has mentioned, we have the functional patches and the, uh, the patch. So let me first take you to the very first patch, which is this was energy enhancer, the very first product in 2004 and what it does is it's a, it's able to increase energy and in, endurance it supports a physical fitness routine and can promote blood circulation and trans change it to a fat burning and as angelina mentioned really to be able to uh, prevent aging we need to at least do a little bit of exercise so if we don't have any energy to do an exercise, this one will help us. And it's you can see, after using Energy Enhancer, the same Navy SEALs member can stay longer on the seabed. And that was really one of the reasons why David Smith invented this product is for the Navy SEALs. So it increased from six hours to 30 hours. And then the second product is Silent Night. And again, Angelina has mentioned that a good night's sleep is very important. And this is the phototherapy patented to increase melatonin. And it has been clinically proven to increase length of sleep by 66%. So increases the quality of sleep and also it relaxes the brain nerves. So sometimes we can't really sleep because our brain is functioning so much. And then the third product is as we age, we have lots of chronic pains. You know, like as also in the video, it was mentioned about inflammation or pains. In, then this is something that can help us relieve. So it's a quick, a quick pain relief really effective in 30 seconds. I have experienced it myself when uh, Susanna patched me the very first time. And the good thing with the ice wave is it's very safe and natural and non-addictive. And again, all our all the LifeWave products, are there are no drugs, no chemicals, or no stimulants. So how do we use this ice wave? When you, receive, when you see in here, there are two one tan patch and one white patch so it's like a negative and a positive and we always use this ice wave in pairs so the and then put the patch the tan patch on the pain of the look the painful location to help that blood flow and then you can really experience the pain is gone okay i had a lady that came to my house yesterday and she said she has a back pain. So I said, okay, let me try this ice wave. So I put the ice wave and literally in less than 30 seconds, it's like 10 seconds. And she says, wow, her back pain is gone. So thanks to life wave. And then the next patch uh, is the glutathione. So we entered what we call the Y age. So Y age means anti-aging. So this was um, released in 2006. And as we know, glutathione is the master antioxidant. And if we use this glutathione, it's also pr uh, proven that increases by 300% in 24 hours. And the good thing with glutathione is it supports immune system. As we know, we get sick because our immune system is low. So we really have to protect our immune system to prevent all those diseases or all those causes of aging. And then the glutathione is good also in promoting detoxification and it really eliminates heavy metals. And there we could see lots of testimonies, especially those people that have undergone through chemotherapy that this glutathione helps remove those heavy metals in their bodies or the toxins in their bodies and for us filipinos we know that glutathione is really good for skin 
uh, removes the spots and wrinkles. So lots of Filipinos I know uses gluta, uh, soap with glutathione and all of that thing. So when I got introduced to this glutathione, that's the only thing I know. I did not know anything about it. it's a master antioxidant or it boosts my immune system. Yeah. And then again, something that most Filipinos are familiar with glutathione is it's a whitening product. And then the other uh, white age um, product is carnosine, which was released in 2006. And this is really increases the stamina up by 125%. Also improves body strength and flexibility and improves overall health. And then improves bioelectrical, irregular heart rate, digestive problems, and degeneration of the original tissue. And it's also an antioxidant. If you would have heard the video from David Smith, he recommends that we use glutathione and carnosine alternately to increase uh, the antioxidant in our body. And then we have this product called SP6 Complete, which was released to the public in 2007. And the good thing with this is it complements with weight loss program, reduces appetite, balances the hormones, and restarts cells physiological mechanism and conveys the message of enough sugar to reduce cravings. And then also thereby burning more fat. And recommended usage of this is three times a week. So this one, I have really tried it and it really stops you from craving carbohydrates and sugar. So as myself, I, I grew up in a bakery. My parents had a bakery and I can live with bread. I <laughs> So I kept eating bread. But then when I started this, I lost interest with bread. So, <laughs> and then the third uh, YH product is Ion. This was released to the public in 2011. And the good thing with Ion is reduces stress in our body. And as we age, we have lots of oxidative stress in our body. And re also good to relax. Yes. Yeah? So some people, they use this at night so they can sleep well and relaxes their muscle as well and their brain and thinking all. And then as the video says, as we age, there are lots of inflammation in our body. So this one helps with anything infl inflamed in our body. And the, as I said earlier, the three YH products are all anti-aging. So this is also one of them. This product, we don't have it here in Australia, but very, very good product, which is to um, released in 2015. So this is what we call the Ala Vida Trio. And when you get this product, you've got a patch already, you've got a day cream and a night cream, which improves health, skin health from inside out. So it just doesn't just improve our skin, um, outer skin, but also in, inside, okay? And then it has, it's very natural, 98.6% pure plant ingredients. And then from the first day of use, you can experience more vitality in the skin. It doesn't really contain any other preservatives in it. So very, very safe and um, suitable for any sensitive skin. And again, it fades the fine lines, wrinkles, and spots in our face. So this product as well is, we don't have it here in Australia, but it's one that is called Nirvana, which is a mood enhancer. And it enhances the mood. It's also patented for pride from phototherapy as all other products. It has no drugs, no chemicals, and no stimulants. So Nirvana supports healthy endorphin production to enhance our mood, as I mentioned earlier, and also stabilize the process of sustained results. And then it's all a natural seaweed extract. So this one, 
it has a, a supplement and also a patch. So the other one that um, Angelina has mentioned and also it has been mentioned in the video is about the stem cell. Okay, so the X39 is a, a stem cell activator. So as X39 elevates the peptide GHKCU, and it's a naturally occurring peptide in our body that declines significantly, significantly with age. So after the age of 60, our levels of GHKCU have dropped by more than 60%. So by using X39, it improves energy, strength, and endurance, and also relieves pain safely and naturally, improves sleep quality, easily relieves stress, improves the immune system, reduces inflammation, balances body cellular mechanism, and improves complexion, reduces pigmentation, wrinkles, and obviously makes us look younger. And then also improves our athletic performance, speeds recovery, increased cell communication, and hair growth. So if we look at all of this, what X39 can do, this can really uh, help us with aging. It's like everything in here that uh, what Angelina has mentioned in her presentation. And then the independent third-party clinical study on GHKC, you have found that it resets the genes in the body to a younger, healthier state. And it's clinical work performed by Dr. Lauren discovered that old liver cells when exposed to GHKCU started to function like younger, healthier state. And also, um, Susanna mentioned before that when we use X39 for six weeks, we become younger by 72 days. And then mm -hmm. if we use this for six weeks, our blood vessel is younger by two years. So don't we want it to be really live long, live well, and live young? So the other patch here that we have, I think the last one is the X49, which again, X49 is not yet available in Australia, but it's available in other countries. And what's the main benefit of X49 is promoting an increase in performance of strength and stamina. And more specifically, it supports the cardiovascular system, cognitive function, muscle recovery, bone health, and fat loss when used in tandem with a healthy diet and exercise program. So again, the healthy diet was mentioned in the presentation and same with exercise. So this is um, very safe to use. So these are the suggested placement if we combine X39 and X49. And I think that's really the end of my presentation. So do you have any questions? So anyone have any question for our presentation? Yes. Yes, Galaxy 8. Galaxy 12, yeah. Do you want to unmute? Can you unmute them, please, Susan? Okay, let me do yeah. first. To, um, to let them can unmute, wait. Yeah. Okay, no. now you can unmute no, yourself to unmute. present. Son, I might say unmute the Galaxy one. Galaxy A12, please unmute yourself. No. So there's another question here. Susanna, my friend is here later. Um, can you help to do patch? You have to leave at maybe that 7.10 or yes. Singapore time. So you can That's do that Singapore. first. Who is that? Uh, Stephen here. Okay, uh, Stephen, where's your friend? That. Yeah. Where's your friend? Turn it. Can you hear me now? Hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can. Can you 
Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Yes. Uh, okay, my question is, my son has a peritoneal dialysis. Uh, I hope uh, you know what this is. Uh, this is the belly was operated and there is a hole in a, a tube is put in, in there. I already ordered the X39. Uh, and uh, my question is, it, because you said it patches the wound, it heals the wound. So that operation is just like a wound, but it is still in there because something is in there so that the solution will get into the belly of my son so that there will be osmosis and diffusion in uh, getting out the, the, um, uh, the, the poisonous materials when the blood vessel, when the blood passes through the blood vessels of the peritoneum, won't the X39 uh, block the operation where the uh, the tube is inserted? No. No. No, it won't because there is a tube in there. It, yeah, it, it, okay. it, it's it's not gonna squash the, the tube or it's not gonna squeeze the tube in to close it up no the, the yeah. tube will stop it yeah so okay yes yeah, so okay. the x39 for wound healing is say if you have an open wound that nothing is preventing it that's when it's gonna help repair the skin for yeah. that uh, okay thank you yeah, yes. oh, that, so that's my only question maybe sometime i will again uh, ask some more Yes, After I have used maybe this uh, X39. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Hi, Ellen. <laughs> yeah. I was late because I was uh, just informed, you know. Yes. Anyway, yes. I'm happy that I was able to get in even uh, uh, at the end of X39. And uh, may I have some more of X49 uh, regarding how it is you? X49s, yes. I guess, have, are, are, uh, there, there are different patches yes. of X49. Uh, all of, all of the, these uh, will, will they, anyway, I have not uh, received and uh, I have not asked as well whether all of these X39 and the other patches of X49 will be uh, put on the skin at the same time. Right, okay. So Ellen actually is a new customer. She just purchased on Saturday night, actually. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, yeah, so I've given you the patch instructions to, to do that. Uh, all the patches, they're pretty easy. They're like Band-Aid, just putting a Band-Aid on your, on your body. Um, and you, you haven't got X49 at this stage. Um, oh no, actually, no, you do have a X49, I think, in, in, in the order. But uh, it's part of the instructions that I've given you. So X49 is a foundational patch as well. It's like X39 in the sense that it's they're, they're both foundational patches. But X39 is more focused on stem cell, stem mm -hmm. cell regeneration, healthy okay. stem cells. Whereas X49 basically is kind of like a Dora a daughter patch to the X39. Uh, it addresses specific areas where um, a, copper, a, a cer certain type of copper peptide is also required by the body and mainly around the cognitive health and um, the cardiovascular system and in the muscles. The bones. Yeah. So, and the bones. Uh, yeah. Very yeah, important. Uh, uh, I heard about the word regeneration. Yes. You know, I under, what I understood from the nephrologist of my son is that the kidneys are worn out they do not function anymore maybe the cells are worn out yeah. so regeneration does yeah. it mean there is a possibility that using the x39 uh, the kidneys will uh, have its uh, reversion that it the cells or these kidneys will again be functional maybe in uh, how many weeks or how many how well, many we, months? We, we can't we can't we can't we can't put a time frame to it but regeneration okay. is basically the the target function of oh. stem cells yes. so um i just would suggest ellen could we come back to you because i think there's I a think guy in yeah, here he who, who wants some patching and you could actually watch how we patch him okay so yeah. we're going to okay. give him instructions and then i'm going to okay. get back to you because my leader here nelly his dad has got 
the dialysis um, testimony. Okay, so she oh, can talk to you about that. Okay, okay. so yeah, yeah. So we'll just go to Stephen for now uh, because thank you. Just, I'm yeah. I'm right. sorry. That's okay. okay. That's all what right. Yeah. Is my friend, uh, he used the X39 ion and ice wave for mm -hmm. two, three weeks. Uh, two weeks. Sorry, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, two weeks. And the pain is still very bad for him. I don't know why, but I follow, I teach him to follow, you know, the clock method. Yeah. Okay, so Stephen, okay. can can ask your friend to the screen. So let, let me let me locate him. He sits yeah. he's next to you, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, so Stephen, yeah. can you can you uh prepare him for two cups of water? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I want to know that is it um you drink and um, not drink now, we patch first yeah. and then drink. So I want to know that what's your pain uh, for how long? How long the pain? How long you suffering from the pain? This pain is only it is not really very painful. It's just a little bit of pain. Mm -hmm. But once I turn my neck to the left, it will be very painful. Okay, close to Steve. You you see close to Stephen, and then um because my screen, I hope I can see you. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, it's no, the, other, way, uh, other way, other way, other way, other way. Yes, yeah. Okay. So, can you turn your neck? You can you turn your neck because I want to see the angle. Okay. So, like that, if doing this way, just very mild pain, uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. But once I turn my neck, very painful. Okay. So you oh, you yeah. uh, Stephen. Can you touch which location he's the most pain when he turned the neck? So now you try to touch, yeah. Which location? Which the most pain location? Yes. You try to touch. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, this one. Okay. So put the brown yeah. ice way, you take yeah, out yeah. the okay. You take yeah. out the ice way. So Stephen, take out the ice yeah. way. Ice way. Ice way. And the brown, the brown one. Brown. brown. Brown, brown, yeah, brown color one, yeah, okay. Yeah. You remove, you remove yeah. a, the brown color label, a half, remove half first. The brown is half? Yeah, the brown remove half, half. Half first. the label, half the label oh, only. Half the label, okay. And then you pack for the location, he's pink, right? Okay, okay, now you put the white color one, okay, on the top of the brown. I want two finger distance, okay? Put on the top. It's about them here, right? Okay, so uh, what's, what's the name of your friend? Ali. 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 Ali, you can turn your back. You turn to your back. You turn your back. Okay, yes, let me see, okay? And then. On top. No. Uh, above, on the, above. On the about. Above. Two finger top. Two yes. finger distance. Yes, yes top. Yes, yes. yes. this location. Okay. You, remove, you remove half of the label, half. Half. Okay, yes, two finger distance, okay? Okay, now drink one cup of water. Lee, please drink one cup of water now. Remember your pain, remember your pain. Just now you turned the net. How much pain, pain now? Okay, How much so pain now? now after you drink the water, after you drink the water, you wait 10 seconds. Just 10 seconds, okay? So, and then, uh, Steve, you try to patch the brown color location, the pink location. Press it, try press, press, press it down. Press, press, press. press. Okay, you try to press. Is it, is it the pink? Pain? The, pink, the pink, is it gone a little bit, reduced a little bit, Lee? Can you still feel the pain? Not really, not really reduced a lot. But I turn. I when I turn it slightly smoother. Okay, okay. So so now you try. Oh, just ten seconds. Okay. Uh, Steve, you try press like this. Like this. Yes. Like. Like this. 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 Like Okay. So and then Lee, please turn your neck. Please turn your neck again. Is it pain reduce a bit or no? Reduce. Okay. Let me let me know. Come back, reduce. come back. Okay, reduce. Reduce. How, reduce. reduce how much? How, how much? How much? If uh, the if the first one was ten, how much is it now? 
on a scale of 1 to 10? Is it? If first one is 10, now it's around 6. Okay, so then now Steve, move the white color patch. Move the white color patch. Ali, you turn. I, I turn, turn, move turn, the turn, white color yeah. turn to 3 o'clock, to 3 o'clock, to this way, to your white hand mm -hmm. side. Yes, two yes, two Correct. fingers away. Correct. Yes, yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That two one. fingers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. White color one. Okay. Put here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then wait for ten seconds. Wait for ten Need seconds. Water. No need water. No need water. Let him. No, wait. don't, don't. Drink I want. It. I want to test this location first. Okay. Each time, Lee, we you turn to here, Lee. Each time when your pain, we use the cock Y, it's just because we need to try to find out which location is, is a, can block your pain. You understand? So we need to try on the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. You can say north, east, south, west, just like this location in your pain point. Okay. Now, Steve, you try to touch the brown color. Try to touch the brown color. Okay, press again. Okay. And then Lee, you try to turn your neck. The pain reduce a bit more or keep same? Same. You, huh? same, same. 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 Okay. So if same, this location not correct. Now, Steve, move the white color to the um, uh, six o'clock. Six o'clock. So, Two fingers below. Yeah, two finger below. Yes, correct. Yes. Two finger below. Around two finger is okay. I want yes. one patch distance. Okay. And then, Lee, can I ask you, is it you drink water frequently? Do you drink water frequently? You yes. Just drink water or you drink tea, coffee? Just Maybe water, tea and coffee also have. Because okay. I always, when I go out, always bring this bottle. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I drink quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. You, if you can drink one hour, one cup of water, your detoxing will quicker and then your pain will go easier. So now you drink a half cup water. Now half cup. Yeah, half cup. Okay, because each time when you drink water, you know where our cell come from. Our cell come from water. Our blood comes from water, right? Water is the material to, to make our cell. Okay, so now try to touch the pain location. Steve, try to touch. The pain reduce a bit more? Yes. This now how many percent? Reduce a little bit more. Now, now how, many, how many percent remain? From 10 to what now? 10 to 1, 10 to 5, 10 to 4. I think Three. 10 to 5, the max is 5. 5, 5. Okay. Reduce to 5. Oh. Yeah. Half. Half. It's reduced by half. You yeah. want to reduce them all, right? Let me move one more location. Move to 9 o'clock. Okay. D turn to turn turn to let us see. Is it correct? Okay. Yeah. 3, 6. 9. Okay. Nine yeah, nine. Okay, yes. And then again, a top, little bit top more, up more, up more. On the net, yeah. Up, up a bit more. Up, up, up. Oh, it's less, less than one finger. Less than one finger, really. Yeah, two finger, yeah. Okay, okay. It's less than one finger. Oh, yeah, two, two fingers. Two fingers. Two finger. 